Hi, this is Todd from Finger Lakes Trellis Supply <clears throat> with another trellising tip. Uh, we're going to be trying to come up with a solution with uh, some uh, Gripple number four six foot earth anchors, heavy duty. Uh, so, this is in a situation where it's just plain old tough ground to drive in, lots of rocks. It's a great solution, deeper the better. Um, but you know, as you drive that. Uh, the, uh, the drive rod in, I'll tell you, it's got to be in straight or it's it's going to bend or a rock can uh, bend it. Um, and then additionally, when you when you pull that drive rod out, man, you got to pull it right straight up out perfectly or otherwise it bends the post, the driver. Um, so here's an idea with a, a three inch uh, pipe post. It's a, it's a heavy duty, heavy wall post, kind of as a pilot hole driver. In this case, it's a uh, Nine feet long, I would wall down some picking eyes so you can put some chains on it because you got to pull that thing out too and you don't want to bend that as well. So you're going to drive a post, uh, a, a pilot hole, let's say approximately four feet deep if possible. Um, then you're going to take your seven foot contractor drive rod, put it on your number four gripple um, earth anchor and you're going to drive that in a little bit more, just just enough to set it. You don't, you don't want to bend that drive rod. Um, and, and it's possible that there may be compaction at the end of this hole with rock and you may not be able to. So uh, step one, I would attempt to uh, drive that in just, just a little bit, you know, uh, you're gonna have to play with it. it. It may be six inches, it might be a foot, just enough for it to get hold and to turn that uh, plate of that Gripple, as you see in the uh, the, the Gripple um, illustrations, I like to call them cartoons, <laughs> but I think they're a great diagram. Um, you know, as that lifts out, it's going to turn and flip that uh, that anchor plate to create the resistance, so that you still need that seven foot rod just simply to get the distance there and to transfer the energy from whether you're using a driver, a sledgehammer, or you know the ready driver and vibrator driver in. Um, but let's say it, um, you weren't able to get it deeper than the, this, uh, this hole that you made. Uh, just, you know, do what you can. Then, uh, there's a couple ideas that you can do. Uh, you can kind of backfill it. And of course this probably will kind of fall in, but, uh, use a spud bar or something else. You can get in this hole and tamp that dirt down more concerned, just, uh, you know, six, eight, a foot tamped in here not not the whole thing just this just this little bit uh, another trick you could do because it's extremely dry is a bucket of water down that hole and with some material and um but just let it sit like perhaps overnight let it sit before you go pulling that anchor to set it so then you would uh you know like this application with the water you know maybe come back to the next morning and then um hook onto this, whatever you're gonna do, a chain or by hand uh, and, and pull that uh, cable up so that this uh, grip link turns and sets itself. Um, and then, then you're gonna to have to, you know, kind of tamp that hole in and, and let it fill. And again, what the water kind of serves, uh, rain will do it, time will do it. Um, to set that because these these anchors how they work is when you when you when they're pulling out it's creating this um, column this you know as it's uh, uh, pushing against this dirt that's building pushing against these dirt and rock pushing against this and as it continues to build up and this is uh, approximately five feet deep let's say it continues to compact and build up, creating this kind of this uh, inverted cone of force and creating the resistance. Uh, one more thing to think about. So if you're using a 60 degree angle for your equilateral triangle, you know that you wanna measure this distance here and here and that's how far out. That's actually where you're gonna want the eye of that cable. And that would be this part over here, where you're, you're gonna you're going to want that. So actually, you're going to want to angle this hole back towards the post some. But uh, as that sets and pivots, let it sit. And so actually the eyelet's going to be over here. Go ahead and hook your uh, G-pack to it, tension it. And I think is uh, you're going to have to come back over uh, uh, 
uh, some time, you know, especially over the winter, the rainy season, and that, uh, that slowly that cable is going to knife back to that soil and cut back into that virgin ground. So really, it's making it stronger again. Um, and unfortunately, it, this is a way to set it, tension it, but you're going to have to come over, come back within a period of time. I don't know what that is with your personal situation and, and retention that cable to set that. And so this is with a brand new vineyard and it's, it may take a little bit of time. And because the, the proper in, um, installation is to drive that anchor and cable and drive rod as much towards your pulling pressure as possible. You know, it doesn't have to be exactly, but towards it. But I think when we're goofing around with this water and trying to tamp it and stuff, I think uh, doing your pilot hole angled way back where it needs to be is going to create a problem. And, and, and I believe that actually it's going to work a benefit to you as that, that cable knifes back through that uh, virgin glacial pack soil. But that's only going to happen with, um, you know, time, tension, rain, so you might have to come back through a couple of times and retention it, but you know, with the gripple tool and, and you know, leave your gripple out of the ground uh, plenty high, it's, it's not really a hardship. Yeah, it's one more thing to do, but I'll tell you, it's gonna set it and it's gonna set it and be right, allow you to be deep. In this application, uh, going through the, the ground, there is an irrigation line. So you're gonna have to kind of pre-calculate that. So we, we set up a template so we knew where to uh, start that gripple and drive it down. But with these driving conditions, it, it's just, it's raising havoc with the, the driver and everything. Um, so this is the compromise is a pivot hole out a little bit further because you gotta anticipate for that knife back so that, you know, essentially this, this, this is still driving to the same point that you intended to, it's where it's going to want to go over time. Um, you know, the, the harder that your anchors go in, the, the, the better that they're going to stay. But, um, you know, this really hard uh, dry ground, in addition to the, the rocky soil, there is, you know, rocks are a problem for all anchors. It, re it really is. It's, uh, but uh, it is the anchor of your system. So it, it pays to do it, do it right. This is inexpensive, relatively low labor. Um, but honestly, it depends on how many times you need to come back and retention that as it comes back over. I, I would only think a couple times would, would set it over the, the course of its life. Um, and again, you know, that just represents, uh, you know, the jackhammer style uh, post driver driving a pilot post in there, lifting it, pulling it out, and again, setting the... Uh, the drive tool vibrated in just that little bit, kind of rep represents that. And then you can see the uh, forces of where that cable's gonna wanna go within time. Um, but you gotta be careful calculating this distance of where that's gonna be and where you gotta start. You need a protractor and some math. Unfortunately, I don't have a protractor accessible at the moment. Um, to, to give you what that math is. So, you, you know, being that uh, he has to go around this uh, irrigation line. So you gotta be, gotta anticipate that as well. So uh, hope you find this helpful. It's another trellising tip from Todd. Finger Lakes Trellis Supply, uh, give us a call, email us. Um, you know, yeah, we got an e-store, um, but um, you know, we're good old fashioned. So, you know, send us an email, give us a phone call, you know, where you can talk to real people. Uh, thank you.